Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to set up um, Raylo on an Amazon EC2 instance. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log in. If you haven't got an account, you can go and set one up. Amazon also do a free tier, um, 750 hours of EC2 micro instance for both Windows and Linux. Just go to your console EC2 and we're going to launch a new instance. Choose the classic wizard. Now I'm going to pick the Amazon Linux uh, AMI uh, image. Now the Ubuntu is fine too but I like the Amazon one because it's updated by now and it's got all the stuff I need to get to get running. Um, so for the purpose of this demo we're going to choose a micro instance um, select if you want to preference a an availability zone I'm not in this one and let me just get past all this um, create key pair um, quite important um, this is how you're going to SSH into your, your instance. I've already got one set up. If you haven't, you'd have to create a new key pair. Keep this very safe. Without this, you're not going to be logged into your instance. So, um, I've already got one set up, so I'll just continue with that. Um, the next is your security group. So I've got a pre-configured um, security group with all my ports open that I need. Um, normally, you've only got the default, which I think has got everything open. So you perhaps want to go in there and change that afterwards. Um, just to review the information on screen, um, you'll notice on here we've got um, termination protection disabled. Um, I usually enable that because I'm usually uh, click happy and I have disabled a instance before by accident. And close that. And then what we should see now, if we click on instances, is the instance we just set up. Um, while we're waiting for that to start up, if we just click on this. Uh, just bring this up here. And we just go in. Uh, you'll notice that we've got a public DNS. Um, so this is how we're going to access the instance. Um, but what I always do is we've got this elastic IP here, and I'm going to associate an IP address with the instance. Now, Amazon doesn't charge you for one IP address so as long as it's associated with an instance. Uh, and it's just a lot neater as well. In my documents in here, I think I have my key saved in here. So I'm just gonna terminal into that folder. And I'm not gonna be able to SSH in until that's started, so we'll just wait. So that's past all checks, and that's not running. So I'll just get rid of that one. Instance um, straightforward um, SSH the name of your your key and then the user itself which is EC2 dash user I think this is the same on all Amazon instances as that's the default user it could be root on the Ubuntu one um, at and then we're going to take this IP address that we've just associated with it uh, we're just going to paste that in and hit enter. Um, you'll get a message about adding it to your known hosts, etc. Just type yes. That'll only happen the first time that you, you try to log in. Um, what you'll see here is that we're actually now into um, the Amazon instance. Um, you'll see a message normally about updating. Um, if you've got any updates pending, we're going to go ahead and do that and take a a minute to do that and I'll just update everything on there. Okay, so um, once we're all up to date, um, the next thing we need to do is install Apache. I'm going to run um, Apache and then via Tomcat, so Apache on port 80 and then Tomcat on port 80, 80 perhaps, um, super user do, um, and then yum, install and then it is httpd httpd slash um, uh, just ask you if you want to 
Okay, so once that's complete, there's a couple of things we need to do. So I don't think by default Apache is running, um, but the one thing we do want to do is make sure Apache starts up every single time that this instance is restarted or if we stop it. So we do that just by doing uh, sudo service httpd start and if all goes well you get this message saying okay so that means apache should have started now so if all's gone well we should be able to copy click um, we should be able to yeah that means apache is running next thing we need to do is now go get um Raylo and install it on the system and tomcat now just before i go do that if we go back into terminal uh, next thing we want to do is we're going to create a new directory. Uh, sudo. Okay. Just going to call it temp. And we're going to cd into cd into temp. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm creating a new directory is because we need a place now to get download. Um, right there. So. We'll have to get reload.org downloads. And the one with we want is this 64 bit one. It's a 64 bit instance that I um, started. Obviously, if it was a 32 bit one, um, choose the other one. But this is where I want. So, copy link location. Let's get back in here. So, what we're going to do now is download it to this directory so sudo um, wget's already installed on here so this should just allow me to download I will just wait for that to come down okay so that's come down so before I run the installer for Alo, what I actually want to do is, is, is make sure um, that it's going to have appropriate permissions to run um, so we can install the connectors and everything so let's just make sure it's in there yep yeah. and the next thing we're going to do is type sudo change permissions on the file and I'm going to copy the name of the file so let me typing it in and that's correct and just did okay and that will make sure that we can it can do all the stuff it needs to do um, and then we just run the installer and the name of the file and that should just go through the normal installer process uh, um, these are all the default locations and agreements and stuff and we're just gonna just go through these quickly. Um, the default directories on everything is fine for me. Um, give yourself a Tomcat username and password. Um, Tomcat port, I will install it on uh, 8080. That's fine. And important, start rail at boot time. And again, if we're going to use the Apache um, as the front, then we're going to need the connector installed as well. The version of Apache and also 64 bit. That's fine. They're fine. For logs. And just begin. Okay, so. That should be really now installed on the system. So first thing we need to do is can see if we can access Raylo or Tomcat, shall I say. So I'll hit that. And the first thing you find out is probably won't go through. So the reason being is probably in your security groups. So I'm using this security group and what we can see in here is that I haven't enabled that port. So we're just going to add that as a rule. Apply the changes. And you can see now it's going to allow traffic through. 
on that port. So if we go and hit this again. Oh, there we go, welcome to Raylo. Okay, and then the normal setup if you wanted to configure this through Apache, set up your virtual hosts and everything like that. Um, apply, and that's it. Super simple, running on the cloud.